Hey guys, this is Terribly Drawn MS Paint Guy, and today I'm teaching you about... Why am I teaching you about fractions in the middle of a bunch of Minecraft videos and pony stuffs? Cause everyone loves fractions. Yay! Just like everyone loves cupcakes, and muffins, and chocolate. Unless you're allergic to chocolate. But no one's allergic to fractions, so... Before we get to addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, we're going to need to know how to make equivalent fractions. Almost all the time, you're going to want to simplify your fraction, either as a mixed number or as a fraction with a smaller denominator. That's to avoid fractions like these. Let's start with a mixed number using 2 over 2 as an example. A fraction is equal to 1 when both the numerator and denominator are the same, so 2 over 2 would equal 1 as a mixed number. It's like saying by killing two monsters you get a free cake. If a fraction is equal to more than one, then you'll get numbers like these. If a fraction is equal to less than one, then you can't simplify it into a mixed number. Alternatively, you can simplify your fraction into a number with a lower denominator. Say we have the number 4 eighths. In order to simplify this fraction, we have to divide both the denominator and numerator by the same number. If we divide 4 by 4, we get 1. If we divide 8 by 4, we get 2. Therefore, 4 eighths equals 1 half. But wait a second, since we divided the fraction, didn't we lower the value? Actually, no. We're not changing the value of the fraction at all. We're just dividing 4 eighths by 1, and dividing anything by 1 won't change the value at all. Since 4 over 4 has both the denominator and numerator the same, it is equal to 1. You can also multiply both the denominator and numerator by the same number to get larger equivalent. Being able to find equivalent fractions is often required to add, subtract, multiply, and divide fractions. Let's start with a pretty straightforward fraction problem. Half plus half. Since the denominators are the same, we simply have to add the two numerators together. 1 plus 1 is 2, so we will get 2 over 2. And of course, since both the denominator and numerator are the same, 2 over 2 would be equal to 1. If you're adding two fractions together whose denominators are not the same, then you have to find equivalent fractions with the same denominator. For example, if we want to add 5 6 with 1 half, we can multiply both the numerator and denominator of 1 half to get 3 6. 3 6 plus 5 6 is equal to 8 6, or 1 and 1 third. Yeah, I misspelled it, but hey, this isn't a spelling video. I didn't spell it subption either, so that would have had a whole different meaning, and subtrion sounds better anyway. In fact, let's call subtraction subtrion for the duration of this part of the video. Subtrioning fractions is pretty similar to adding fractions. The only difference is, obviously, you subtrion instead of add, so 2 over 2 minus 1 half would be 1 half. Since that was really short, here's a short clip of me dancing. Multiplication of fractions is surprisingly simple. All you have to do is multiply the two numerators together and the two denominators. That's it. Of course, this will often result in big numbers too, so remember to simplify when multiplying. Actually, dividing fractions is a piece of cake. And by that, I don't mean that it's delicious and edible. You'll probably get sick if you try to eat it and it doesn't come in cool flavors like chocolate. I kind of like the ones with the sprinkles. But anyway, basically all you have to do is flip the second fraction in the division problem. And by that, I mean you turn the numerator into what the denominator used to be, and turn the denominator into what the numerator used to be. And then you multiply, just like you multiplied fractions, numerator with the numerator, and denominator with the denominator. That's it. Simple as that. Speaking of simple, remember to simplify your fraction. I told you it was a piece of cake.
If I had one cake for every post credit scene in this video, I'd have four out of four cakes. I see what you did there.